911, what's your emergency? Hey, Melissa. You're in trouble. They already started. OK, so let's remember we have two kinds of readers, readers who are wearing these labels and readers who aspire to wear these labels. Sorry. Sorry, Marie. As I was saying, that Fashion Easter article was a good one, but let's not refer to that dragon from New York. Um, what's her name? Anna Winter? Yes, Anna Winter. Avoid things like that, and we should be fine. OK, moving on to our next item, something we've all been waiting for, something we've all worked very hard for. Zelia is ours. So, that meeting, who's Zelia? Seriously? You're interning here, and you don't know who Zelia is? She's Toronto's hope for a real legitimate standing in the fashion world. OK, so you know we have Fashion Week every year here, right? Well, every year, Zelia releases her new collection here instead of in London or Paris or even New York. And every year, people come from all over just to see her new line. And if she keeps going the way that she is, then those same designers may want to stay and compete with her here in Toronto. OK. Well, that'd be good, right? Yeah. Get back to work. Here, take this to Maggie's office, intern. It's uh, Aiden, actually. Oh, really? <laughs> Sleeping around has its benefits, right, Daniel? What the hell, Maggie? I got the Zillia account because I'm good. I'm sure the boss's niece would agree with you. Screw you, Maggie. What are you? Maggie, have you seen Daniel? No, I haven't. He must be on a smoke break. OK, OK. Oh, look at that. Made some adjustments to the layout, color palette. Oh, I. It's good. It's good. Thanks. Michael, do you have a minute? Yeah, sure. What's up? Cecilia account. All right. We're all trying to make this the best magazine possible. So I made the decision. Do you understand? Thanks. Hey. I wouldn't go in there yet. Everything okay? Yeah, Celine's on the phone with her sister in California. They're planning a hen party or a baby shower or presidential inauguration ball. <laughs> I didn't ask, and I don't want to know until it's all over. Oh. Yeah. Thanks. So, everything all right? Magazine, school? Yeah, everything's fine. Good. You look like you need a break. Oh, really? Yeah, you do. <laughs> hey, why don't we go at this weekend? 
go out to the bar, have a few drinks, relax. I can watch you pick up some chicks. Hey, I could be your uh, wingman. Bruh, <laughs> I don't need a wingman. Uh, yeah, you do. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> You're late again. I know. Sorry. I had to finish this huge assignment. My professor, I swear, he's trying to kill us with all these... Daniel and Maggie, weren't they going out before? I don't know. Why are you asking me? Well, you know the real scoop on everything that goes on around here, no? Don't believe everything you hear. So they weren't going out, or you don't know everything that goes on around here? What is going on in here? Oh my God, you're bleeding. That looks like it might need a couple of stitches. Take her to Scarborough General, okay? Daniel, can I see you in my office, please? You. Aiden, right? Clean this up, and when you're done, just lock up, okay? Okay. Intern? Was that a question? How long have you been an intern? Almost two months. You did that? Yeah. Sorry, I, I shouldn't have messed with your project. You changed just... the whole layout? Yeah, I... I'm really sorry. I just thought I'd try something. This color will suit Aiden. Yes, it will. You didn't even look. I don't have to look. I can see it. Of course you can. It's Peter's favorite. Now Peter would be Aiden's age now. He's a handsome young man. Sometimes I think Aiden looks just like Peter. Selene. You know Aiden is not Peter. Aiden can never become Peter. I have some news for you. I'm waiting. Maggie wants to be your mentor. What? She sent in a request to HR. How do you know that? 
I know everything, remember? What are you doing here? Oh, no. Homework. Okay, put that away. Look at this. Tracksuits? Velour tracksuits. It's so ridiculous. Who wears tracksuits outside of the gym? Actually, people do. Oh, really? Yeah, I see it all the time. Uh, I think Kanye wore one to the Grammys one time. <laughs> that was four years ago. In the fashion world, it's like ancient. Yeah, but uh, we could revive it, you know. Uh, keep this, get rid of that, and uh, voila. What? It'll work. <sighs> I'm not sure. Anyway, put your thoughts on paper and show me. Okay. You know, tracks was from my idea. They were my project. Michael just gave them to you? Yes, he did. Come in. Hey. Hi, Aiden, come in. This is Aiden, my new intern. Hey. Daniel was just about to leave. Yeah. Good luck. What was that all about? It's fine, leave it. Anyways, uh, take a look at this proposal. Some really good stuff in here. Oh, and uh, I was hoping we could be done early today. Why, have a date? No, uh, just a friend and I, we're going to a bar, catch up. Oh, well, I know a great bar. Good food, great drinks, nice atmosphere. We uh, go there a lot. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. I think you've had enough, Daniel. You should go home. This is the watering hole. Yeah, I guess so. Nice. So, you know that girl I was telling you about? The sexy girl with the kinky boots? Who? The lingerie model. What are you talking about? I don't know any lingerie models or girls with kinky boots. Are you sure? You can tell me. I'll totally listen to all your stories with the sexy sirens you're running. Hi, how are you today? Uh, good. How are you? Good. And what would you like? Our specials today are the Vaughn Sports Bar Burger or the Enforcer. I'll do the Enforcer. Mm-hmm. And for you? Uh... Beer is good. Just lager. All right, coming right up. I don't think you understand what happens at our magazine. There's no spicy sirens walking around. No? At least not till summer. Oh, when the swimsuit issue comes out. <laughs> uh, anyways, no, it it's my mentor at work. Shot? Like you wouldn't believe. And she's smart, sophisticated, totally classy. Smart, sophisticated mentor. It's not what I pictured. Oh, uh, that's not her. That's Sophia. She's another one of my colleagues. We hang out sometimes. Oh, I get it. You got two birds in the net. <laughs> no, it's not that. It's the guy she's talking to. What about him? He's an asshole. He's always messing with Maggie. 
Maggie. Your mentor, the smart one, that's walking by us right now. Hey, Maggie. Daniel? I want to talk to you. What about? You're what drunk. About? No, I'm not. We'll talk when you're sober. No, 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 no. You come back here. Okay, you why don't you just go back to the Starbucks and have your face? Shit. Oh, 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 oh. What the fuck, man? Hey, hey, hey. Fucking fuck your business. Fuck, fuck that. Fuck you. Well, that was interesting. Never been in a bar fight before. In fact, I've never even seen a bar fight in my entire life. Black, right? Yeah. Thanks. No problem. Oh. <sighs> Aiden, I know I'm not your father or anything. And I'm not trying to give you a lecture. But honestly, man, none of this looks good. You were there. You saw what happened. He pushed her. Hey, I was right there. I saw what he did. But I saw what you did. I didn't start it. Look, man, I know you got a thing for this girl, and I get that. But you're just getting started in life. And all this fighting and brawling, it's just gonna ruin it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I got that. Hey. Hey. Oh my god, that looks horrible. You should have taken a day off. I couldn't. I gotta finish this project for Maggie. Hello? Yeah, he's here. Okay, I'll let him know. Michael wants to see you. Me? Was he mad? Sort of. Does he know about yesterday? I don't know, but I didn't tell him. Is he gonna fire me? I hope not, but he better go. Come on in. Have a seat. I'm not gonna ask you why you and Daniel looked like you went three rounds in a boxing ring last night. Did you really think I wouldn't find out that two of my employees have been placed under a peace bond? I can explain. We Please don't. I'm sure it seemed perfectly justified at the time. I don't really care. What I do care about, and what you should care about, is appearances. It's a fashion magazine, Aiden. Appearance is everything. I apologize. I'm not done yet. Some of our investors will be here today to look at the project that you and Maggie have been working on. But I can't have them seeing you looking like this. So, go home. I, I, I still didn't finish, though. Maggie will finish at whatever it is. Look, kid, you got talent, but that's not enough to get noticed. Not in this business. You don't want these people to remember you as the kid with the black eye. So I'm doing this favor for you and for me. Go home now. Aiden, where were you? They'll be here in half an hour and you still need to finish. Your face. Oh my God. I may have some concealer in my purse. No, no, no. It's too late. 
Michael's sending me home. What? Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Oh, oh no, no, no. He's, he's sending me home for the day. <laughs> okay. For a minute, I thought that... It's all my fault. No, it's not. I should keep my temper in check. <laughs> you got hurt defending me. I'm so... No one's ever been there for me like you. Anyways, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Hey, aren't you supposed to be at work? Huh? Oh, God, I know that look. What look? Come with me. All right. Lay it on me. What? I know that face. Yeah, of course you do. It's my face. No, 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 no. That's not what I mean. Oh, God. <laughs> now you begin to understand. <laughs> You know, you've lost it, haven't you? I've lost it. You're the one that's lost your internship over a girl. At least she was hot. I didn't lose my internship. They just sent me home for the day. Yeah? Good. So? What did she say? Nothing. She just thanked me. And? And kiss me on the cheek. She kissed you on the cheek. Cheek. Yeah, the cheek. You have a restraining order against you because of her. Did she just kiss you on the cheek? It's a peace bond. It's not a restraining order. Yeah, whatever. Mm, I've been meaning to ask you. How does that work when you guys actually work together? There's an exception for, uh, Incidental contact during the course of employment, something like that. Hmm. But she just kissed you on the cheek, and you're this far gone? Hey. <laughs> we all make fools of ourselves one time or another. But at least I'm here to help you through the elementary school stage. Do you like me? The answer yes or no. God, just shut up. Give me another beer. <laughs> some other time I'm watching the game. You need to look at this. What is it? You been going through Aiden's things? Of course not. I was just clearing his room of dirty dishes and I happened across these on his desk. You need to talk to him. Mm. I have a suggestion. Go ahead. What if for the new designer spread, we take pictures from the show and split them with pictures of regular women on the street wearing the same clothes? <laughs> Except that we don't have any pictures of regular people wearing those clothes. Yeah, but we could go downtown and take some. This isn't exactly New York, and... You're not exactly Benjamin Cunningham. 
I realize that. But we could just hire some freelancers. That is an excellent idea. You're right. Most of our photographers are only capturing well-known faces. It's time we got some pictures of ordinary people wearing these clothes. I'll put out some feelers. We'll see what turns up. I like this, but uh, marble background? Oh, we just wanted to, uh, you know, just show to, uh, in order uh, to showcase the, um, just for, for. I thought it showed the versatility of the cut and the flow of the fabric. And uh, marble's actually really in right now. And there's the red in the dress, the red in the letters. They balance each other out. You see. Seem to have a good instinct. Glad to see his progress, Maggie. Me too. All right, well, carry on. What's wrong? Maggie. I'm fine. You don't look fine. I'm fine. I just thought I saw someone. Saw who? No one. Leave it. Was someone there? I think. But I, I don't want to get you in trouble again. It's Daniel, isn't it? It's fine. I can take care of myself. I know you can. Maggie, you're smart. You're talented, you're, you're strong. I know you can take care of yourself, but I want to help. I don't want to get you involved in this too much. That's for me to decide. Well, at first, I thought it was just my imagination. But then, one evening, I saw him waiting by my car when I got off work late. When was this? After you and I took over the Zelia account. He left when he saw that I wasn't alone. Robert was with me. And the other day, I spotted him outside my house. What? It, it was dark, so I couldn't see his face clearly, but I swear I saw his car in my neighborhood and he doesn't even live nearby. He lives on the opposite end of the town. And there were footprints outside my window next morning. Maggie, this is serious. You need to call the police. Just do me one favor. Call me. If you spot him, or if you can't sleep at night, or if there's an axe-wielding murderer outside your house... Agent! Sorry. Poor choice of words. I'm just trying to say... Even if you just need someone to talk to for a little while, call me. If anything happens, whatever it is, just call me, okay? You could sleep on my couch. Very comfortable. I'm sure it is. All right, I'll call you. Now let me drop you home. Okay. Let's go. Hello, Maggie? Mag 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 Maggie, 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 slow down. I can't understand. I'm, I'm coming over, okay? No, no, keep your phone with you. Call the cops if he tries anything, okay? I I'm on my way. Hey, where are you going at this hour? Don't you have a test tomorrow? Aiden! It's an emergency. I'll be back soon.
Maggie, 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 are you okay? No, wait! No, 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 it's okay. I'm just gonna stay here, okay? Call the police. Don't move. Don't move, okay? He's gone. He must have left when, when he heard me. I should clean this up. No, 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 no. I, I got that. Why isn't the squad car here yet? We need to clean this up. Someone can get hurt. No, no, no. Maggie, careful. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so sorry. Let me look. It's not too deep, thank God. Do you have a first aid kit? Yeah, in the bathroom upstairs. What did the police say? I didn't call them. What? Maggie, Maggie, you need to call them. He broke your window. He tried to get in. You, you need to have a record of this. Are you okay? You hear that? Hear what? Fish. I'm pretty sure that's a dog. Just like fish. <clears throat> fish was a dog. A dog. Who names their dog Fish? I should go clean that up. No, 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 I got that. No, it's fine, I can do it myself. Maggie, you're hurt. Let me do it. Do you really want to argue over this? Do you have something better to argue about? Yeah, actually, uh, I was thinking about getting a pet. Maybe a goldfish. Should I call it cat? <laughs> I should have done something to save him. Maggie, you were just a kid. Don't be so hard on yourself. I won't let anyone make me feel like that again. What do I make you feel? Wonder. Wonder what? Wonder about... How do I make you feel? You make me feel weak. And strong. At the same time. Really? 
that. Being with me might be dangerous. A little danger is good for the soul. <laughs> You're so impulsive. Oh, yeah? I think I'm falling for you. And that's a bad thing? Well, it means that... They still watching? Yeah. I kind of ran out in a hurry last night without explaining anything. They were probably up all night worried. To me, they don't look worried. They look curious. Uh, do you want me to introduce you? Oh, hey, I don't think we're at meet the parents stage. Oh, no, no, those aren't my parents. They're just friends, but they're as close as family. And you want me to make a good impression? But that That's not what I meant. Okay, then why are you hesitating? Why don't you introduce us? Invite me in for coffee? I thought you had to get to work. Okay, yeah, it's probably just best that I leave like some one-night mistake, right? Well, no, that's that's not what I meant. <laughs> why, I'm, uh, I'm the morning after girl, right? What? No! Then say what you meant, Aiden. Do you regret last night? No, it's just... I have a test to take in... Shit, one hour and... Honestly, now is not the best time for this. Okay, in that case, let me know when the best time for this is, and I'll pencil you in my schedule. Cool. Yeah, I was drinking that. It's gotten cold. I'll get you a fresh one. And for you, Aiden? No, I'm like the fine. Well, um... Oh, you're back early. What was that about? What? Oh, that. Not now, Aiden. We'll talk later. I uh, think we should talk now. Well, in that case, for starters, no one gets to judge me. Judge? Is that what you think my friends would do? I know what I... you think. And what you said. S <laughs> I didn't say anything. Yes, you did. You were like, oh, I want to make a good impression and yeah, shit. And I was just like... Um, what is going on here? Elijah, this is Aiden, the one I was telling you about. Aiden, this is Elijah, best publisher in the city. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, sir. Yeah. Why don't I walk with you to the door? You wanted to see me? Yeah, come on in. You know, I see a lot of myself in you. Your enthusiasm for the work, your skill, your aptitude, you're young, but you have potential. How far you go with that potential is entirely up to you. You may not know this, but Elijah is more than a friend. He's my mentor. Help me get started in the publishing industry. I wanted you to meet him, but now, after that, You know that in this industry, reputation matters a lot. You have to work hard to earn one. With your potential, you could go far, Aiden. But first, get your act together. And then get out. Ah, I see there's a party going on here. Yes, and you are not invited. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll just go see what Jennifer next door is doing. Mr. McKen, <laughs> get back here now. What were you saying, honey? I'll get your coffee. <laughs> get in there. Huh. Still chill. 
might be lonely. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, man. Hi, Maggie. Uh, yeah, I sent it to the printer. Sure, I'll check first thing tomorrow. Okay. Bye. How is Maggie? Yeah, how is Maggie? You must have her over someday. I will. Oh, um, Sophia, Kevin, and I, we're going to a movie tomorrow night. It's like dinner and a movie, so I'll be home late. Oh, cool. Hey, Maggie. Where is it? I couldn't find it. Couldn't find what? <sighs> um, here. I also need to discuss something with you. Yeah, what is it? Why are you so pally with Sophia? What are you talking about? I work with her. Yes, but you don't need to be so close. Maggie, what are you trying to say? I don't like it. I told you my story the other day. What I didn't tell you is that my father left my mom for another one. Move in with me. What? I want you with me. I want you near me all the time. Ma Maggie, I... Is I'm... there a problem? No, no, the... There's no problem. Then, don't you love me? I do. It's just... Okay. I will. You sure about this? No. But I love her. I want to be with her. All right. When this all falls apart, you better come running back to me. Because I don't get a chance to say I told you so very often. Oh, you. Moving in is so exhausting. <sighs> You bet it is. Do you want coffee? Yeah. That'd be good. Okay, go get it. One for me, too. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Aiden. He only has a one or a window. Do you want me to say yes? Yeah. Yeah or yes? Fine, but come on your Sunday best, okay? Do I have to shampoo my hair too? Ha 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 ha, very funny. Stop being a smart ass or I'll cancel the whole thing.
Hi, baby. I have a surprise for you. So you're leaving me? No, I, I'm not leaving you. I thought you'd be happy. Aren't you happy? Let's celebrate. I picked up dinner. Grab the wine. Engineer, let me see your hands. Looks like we need an ambulance ASAP. Father Paul, I hear you, but what are you supposed to do when a bitch talks back, hmm? I won't tolerate no disrespect. Disrespect, eh? Tell us what happened, Douglas. I told the bitch to get me a beer. And that's what you said? Yeah. Mostly. Okay, actually what I said was, bitch, you fetch me that beer from that fridge or I'm gonna smash your face in. And did she get it for you? Well, yeah, but that shit was fucking warm. And you can't drink no warm beer. So I smashed her in the face. And you think what you did was right? Yeah, yeah. Think about it and we'll talk about it more next week. Now, before we run out of time, I'd like you all to welcome Aiden. Hey. Hi, Aiden. Hi. It's his first session, so we're going to start about talking about why he's here. Go ahead, Aiden. Oh, no, no, I, I don't belong here. I'm sure you feel that way. No, you don't understand. I didn't do it. This is all a mistake. It wasn't me. It was this other guy. He stalked her. He, it was him. I was passed out in the other room. Aiden, the first step to recovery is admitting you have a problem. You're not listening to me. I would never hurt her. I love her. It was Daniel. He, he stalked her. He threatened her, he broke into her house. Hey. Hey. You're not supposed to be here. No, 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 no. She back. called me. She called me. She needs my help. That's it. Stop where Whoa. you are. Help me. Put your hands on the car. Maggie, what's going on? Maggie, tell them! Come on. Aiden. What the hell were you thinking, man? You really screwed yourself now. Two criminal convictions on your record? You know what that means? You're not even listening to me. I told you so. What? I said it, so you don't have to. I told you so.
Go on, get out of here. Go on. Hi there. Hi. My name's Aiden. I'm just dropping off a resume and portfolio. Oh, okay. So I'm also going to need a police check. A police check? Yeah. Okay. Um, I will, I'll be back with that. Okay. Oh, uh, a police report? Sure. Oh, you didn't get police clearance. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll get that to you. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, bye. Fuck! What is this, Maggie? It's boring. Punch it up. Make it interesting. Add something. I thought that... Do you need more time? No, I'll be fine. You're slipping, Maggie. Hello? Yeah, yeah, this is Aiden. Oh, you didn't get police clearance? So, so I, I didn't get the position. Yep, yep, bye. Hey. Hi. I was just about to call you. Thought you'd forgotten. Oh, I'd rather be dead than miss a date with you. <laughs> hey, were you serious before about leaving? Yeah, I I think it might be for the best. It's Rosenberg is hiring. Oh, yeah? Heard it on the grapevine. That's good. I'll, uh, I'll take a look into it. God, with you gone, the office is going to be so different. I mean, as is, there's already so many new faces, and Aiden. No one's seen or even heard from him in so long. Do you really think he assaulted her? He assaulted me, that's for sure. And Maggie, he cheated. Maggie, what? Nothing, nothing. Come on, we're gonna be late for our reservations. We understand. What do you think, Horace? You think Jason could have handled it differently? That anger's no good, man. It gets you in some deep shit. That's good. I'm glad we all agree. Let's hear Aiden's story. Aiden, tell us your story. You wanna hear my story? My life is fucking gone, it's fuck! Because of that crazy bitch and that bastard, they set me up. Please calm down. They made a piece of shit out of me. Fuckers. Okay. Change of plans. We're gonna do some breathing exercises. Jesse, can you start the session? Shit. Breathe in and out.
Honey. Watch. What? You have to talk to Aiden. About what? Seriously. You haven't noticed, hey? He looks like scum. I don't know where he goes, when he goes, what he does. Around the house, he's always swearing and cursing and drinking. What am I supposed to do? Curse back? So stop it. What are people gonna think? Can't have him like this. This has got to stop. Hmm. If you don't say something, I will. Aiden? some supper, get a good night's sleep. We'll figure all this out. Oh, come on. No! Come on, Aiden. Don't do this, man. You wanted to see me? Yeah, have a seat. I just got a call from Zelia's publicist. She's not happy. Oh. This cannot happen, Maggie. Now she wants to vet every article before we go to print. Okay. No. Not okay. Now I have to move your deadlines up by two days. Is that gonna be a problem for you? No. The reputation of our magazine is at stake, Maggie. I need you to do whatever is required to win her back. Do you understand? Yeah, I will. Freeze to death out here. It was her, wasn't it? Maggie? She messed you up, right? Aiden, come on, it's gonna start snowing soon. You're gonna die out here. Just come with me to my place, okay? Let's go. Come on. Away. Aiden, please. I can't just leave you here and walk away. Okay. If you're not going to come with me, then I'm just going to sit with you, even if I freeze to death. Okay? 
guys. I'm just gonna make room here. <laughs> There we go. Oh, you're okay. You're okay. Come on. Not you. What do you want from me? Just come to my place, okay? No. Why? Because I can help you. And I can't see you here like this. <coughs> come on. Here. <coughs> Sorry about before. You were right. I, I, I was wrong. I, I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have done. What? What? What does that smell? <coughs> is there? Is there someone here? Sophia, isn't this you? you what are you doing here? What is he doing here? What is, what is he doing you here? Why is he? Are you with him too? Okay. Who's gonna call the cops now? Huh? Both of you, stop it now! You, go sit over there. What is happening here? Go put this on. And then when you come back, we're gonna sit and talk like adults. Understood? Now! Are you crazy? I thought you came here to apologize. Don't change the subject. He's dangerous. Why would you let him in your apartment? He was lying on the street, all filthy and disgusting and pathetic. We used to know him, Daniel. You can just leave him there. You should eat something. Okay, go ahead. Daniel. Daniel. What? You said you came here to apologize. Go ahead. In front of him? Daniel. I came here because I, I wanted. Wait, seriously, Sophia? Why would you let him in your Daniel. apartment? He assaulted her. I didn't assault her. Yeah? And I guess she didn't punch me in the bar either. No, that I did. But you stalked her and you broke into her house. I didn't break into her house. I don't even know where she lives. I was there. You ran away when you what saw. What are you talking about? Oh, wait. Wait, sit down. You actually saw him? After our meeting with Elijah, I picked up dinner and then I went home. Maggie was really surprised to hear about my new job. Wait, she didn't know about it before? No. And then we celebrated with dinner and wine. Something else had to have happened that night. Yeah. And we need to figure it out. I don't know if this is gonna work. I hope this works. Baby, you know this is our only chance have to do this for all of us. Okay. No 
no more punches. You. Expecting someone else? Aiden? Maybe? You know, I don't think I've seen you look so messy. It's such a shame. But he got to you, didn't he? What the hell are you talking about? You know what I mean. Somewhere along the way, you made a mistake. I don't make mistakes. Oh. Touchy, eh? Ah. Mm. Uh, To the future. Future. Oh, plein air. Did you ever notice that when we eat outside, it's an Italian dining al fresco? And when we paint outside, it's in French. En plein air. What's wrong? There's something you need to watch. Security will show you up. Goodbye, Maggie. Honestly, yours was the most eventful internship I've ever heard of. What would you say to joining us as an editor? As an editor? What about my criminal conviction? Don't worry about that. The law might believe you're a criminal. I know you're not. Wow, M Michael, thank you. Thank you, I... Welcome to the team. Oh, and uh, Hayden, you will be moving out of my niece's apartment, right? First thing tomorrow, I promise. I think this is it, but 
maybe take one more look around just in case. Sophia, I always wanted to ask you. Um, why do you have a picture of Maggie? Maggie happened to stop by the day my dad took that photo. And it's the last photo of my fish. Fish was your dog. Yeah. Why? So, her dad, was he a drunk? Did he run out on them? Her father, her father killed himself after he beat her mother to death with a baseball bat. that again and I'll, I'll I'm sorry you crying no oh, allergies you're paying for the drinks the next 10 times we go out it's on me hungry. Of course. Just eat chicken. I must be starving. Maggie, what are you doing? Maggie, stop. You can't go in there. Hello? Security? Okay, so last month was really good. Subscriptions are up by almost 10%. Uh, that being said, let's keep it going. Next month, we're going to feature oh, the God. winter issue. Okay?
I'm me this way, it's just a part of me Don't even pay attention anymore This fucking game is nothing new to me We lose together or I'm